this is the latest haul, just over seven kilos. Uh, it's got a bunch of stuff in it, some shoes, a hoodie, and some socks. Uh, this time I went with shrink wrap and corner protection as a parcel shipping option. The um, shrink wrap, oh, I mean, they're both cheap actually, but the shrink wrap is good because of waterproofing. I reckon I won't do the corner protection next time. Anyway, total cost for shipping was 91 US dollars and it took from hitting the go button it took six days to arrive which I was pretty happy with what we've got in this oh the the bits and pieces we got in the order some of the shoes arrived quick after we ordered like literally within three days to the panda by warehouse uh, the Jordans took longer, probably about eight days. Socks were quick. Uh, these Zions came in fast. Like, yeah, they were the quickest, like four days. Um, you, I'll, this is just a quick look through the box. I'll <coughs> unwrap everyone in detail in a minute. Uh, the Bapesters, I had ordered a pair. That was in the first haul. I ordered a pair. They were the peaking, or the yeah, peaking duck, the the duck colorway, um, which was okay. But I ordered my like size nine, and they're a bit small, so these are nine and a half, and they're true to size. Actually, the nines are a bit tight. They're wearable, but when I went with the nine and a half, I got the colorway I really wanted. These babe socks, one size fits all, cheap, <laughs> like really cheap, and the quality's there. So you know for. a bucking a bit for a good quality pair of socks. I was pretty happy. These are the... Oh, this is the Bape hoodie. Um, so I got a, a previous hoodie, which I ordered extra large. It was small. So they're kind of true to size because the Bape hoodies are on the smaller size, the real ones. Um, this one's an extra, extra large, which kind of fits, well, between a medium and large. Uh, I just got three colors of socks. I reckon I'd buy more with the next haul because they're, they're really good quality. Like, you just can't buy a quality sock like that. I mean, pending kind of washing, we'll see if it runs, see if they fall apart, but they feel really good. These are the Jordan 4s. Um, they took quite a while to arrive to the Panda Boy Warehouse. They were the last things to get in before I shipped. Um, but, yeah, pretty amazing quality on these ones too. I'll... Um, yeah, I'll go through in detail. The quality the quality control photos that you get on these things, they're kind of a one-size-fits-all photo. Like, they obviously take it under a flash, so I don't think you can trust the colors that much. Um, but, yeah, you kind of... After you do your first order, you'll, you'll understand what I mean by that. <coughs> so here's a <coughs> quick look at the Bapes. So here's a quick look at the Bapes socks. Dollar seventy-eight US... Um, you know, so three of them for less than six bucks, like you get a three pack of socks anywhere, they're going to cost you more than that. Um, I think just from Target, Kmart, I bought a pack of three socks like this recently, they were $12. So these are cheaper, the quality's there, even if you don't particularly care about the branding. Colors, the, the this yellow is pretty awesome. I think it comes across in the video, the, the yellow is awesome in real life for pairing with various sneakers. I just got a black, you know gray i'll put the like just the the um chapter markers in this video so you can skip ahead if you're not interested in looking at all the socks skip ahead to the shoes if you want i haven't actually been able to find anything about bape socks online to see whether these are close to legit or not this is the hoodie. Uh, it's a. I bought it from the same place as the last hoodie, and it's a, it's a, it's equivalent quality. Like it's a heavy cloth. It's a heavy cloth. It was twenty one eighty four US. Uh, these things generally like they're five to seven hundred dollars on StockX. I was happy with the quality of the other one, the extra large size, even though that fits like a medium. So this time I got extra, extra large. 
and it kind of fits just just below a large really um print quality is good the stitching the embroidery on all of these bits and pieces is great um i mean there's not you'd have to get it next to a legit one hold them side by side to be able to tell the difference i think but if you're after just the look um then obviously you're getting this and the quality is there in fabric The tags, um, you know, they look okay. You can see here the stitching. This tag is supposed to flip over and you see the bathing ape head under it and it's been stitched halfway along, so that's a bit dodge. This tag looks, you know, from what I've seen online, as legit as you get. It's got a little bape head in it with your little statement on it. Yeah, be early. The On this one, the zips are a little lower quality than I would expect even compared to the other one from the same seller uh, as you see here the tags like this this gold head is good um, these you can pause the video if you want to close up of this stuff I mean it's washing instructions what more do you want it looks pretty straightforward to me um, like overall I mean this is a cheap like inexpensive hoodie at the best of times right like let alone the sort of Oh yeah, um, this, I have no idea whether this is like legit or not. The printing of the tiger in there is fine and the other printing is good, but the stitching that says militia I, <laughs> looks weird to me, but never seen a real one. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the hoodie. These are the Bapes, there's blue and yellow colorway. Uh, you know, you can get cheaper ones, like 10 to $15 cheaper. I paid the extra money for these. Again, same seller as the ones I got before. I was really happy with the ones before. They were size 9, 42s. They were a little small for me, and I normally take like a 9 to 9.5. These ones are 9.5, and, and they fit perfectly. I'm amazed at the quality of these things for less than 40 bucks. Like, just, just amazed. Regardless of kind of whether they're built like a legit babester, uh, the thing is, this is just a high quality shoe anyway. For less than forty bucks, you can't beat it. The fact that they're a cool color uh, is what I was after. You know, if they, if anyone else, cheap shoe company to do color shoe like this, I'd get it. You know, but the fact that they're babes is pretty cool, and I would challenge anyone to be able to pick these as reps. Comes with a. Uh, dust bag this dust bag's different to the dust bag before even again same seller they're obviously using different manufacturers this dust bag is slightly thinner laces are good this dust bag has the same printing same drawstrings but it's a thinner um, material these bape heads uh, printed um, looks like from what i've seen online looks same as legit uh, again true to size so this this is a nine and a half I take it nine and a half they're spot on 43 all right onto the Jordans these are the top Hayes Air Jordan 4s paid the money here you can get them from like 25 bucks I paid over 55 for these because I really wanted the quality and they delivered uh, like Again, from everything I've seen online, you know, some detailed reviews of the legit ones. They are spot on. There's nothing on these that you can tell that they aren't, that they are rep, right? Like, oh, look, the toe box is good. The tag flips. The webbing is aligned. The air bladder pockety thing in the in the sole is not super hard i have seen that sometimes the reps are you know, hard as a rock these things are spongy so they, they feel good on the foot um they're true to size as well these are 43s nine and a halves and they're exactly like uh, i have a legit pair of these and i've got a legit pair of some other jordans actual basketball boots and they're true to size so everything about these looks the business
can pause the video and have a look if you want at the jump man and those bits and pieces but you know again these are not a super expensive pair they look a bit like the travis scott's the kind of ten thousand plus ones but these ones on stock eggs are usually they're kind of like you know 700 i think for these tall haze ones so yeah just brilliant true to size on the sh on the foot feel good on the foot super comfy now the star of the show these are the ones i had been sweating on for a long time there there's a couple of sellers doing the voodoos the williamson voodoos uh these ones are the slightly more expensive ones but still dirt cheap less than 30 bucks us um <clears throat> i will do a review of these because i have seen a guy doing a kind of legit versus rep check on these and the things that he points out for example printing under the heel flap there and and he also sort of points out some things like the number of lace holes and the stitching so the six and seven stitching like again i'll do a review of these but these ones are spot on there is nothing that is different from a legit shoe on these ones i would challenge anybody to pick the difference even side by side you you look at the the stitching on the little heads with the button the canvas fabric stitching again printing under the um, heel flap here is spot on the number of stitches up that side canvas seven on one six on the other is spot on they wear really well all of the insole stitch uh, printing is spot on come with the two pairs of laces uh, they feel fantastic um, um these are daily wearers for me now because i've been after them for a long time they were a great shoe just from a look perspective and these ones feel good on the foot they're true to size 43 nine and a half by what you normally wear This is the look at the babe hoodie on um, extra extra large wears like just slightly smaller than a large you can compare my other video to the extra large which was more like a medium this one i'd say extra extra large is a large and it's just a decent hoodie for the price can't be beaten <laughs> 